Folks, was this an expensive mistake? or is it a warranty issue? So that's kind of the scenario that we're looking at here. And this is something that is an unfortunate situation, renders the three point hitch on your tractor useless until you do something about it. And so customers submitted this question to me and I'd, I'd seen this happen randomly over the years, not too often, but you see it come up and that's gonna be where your top link on your three point connects right back to the kind of the casting or the housing on the transaxle up above there. So this gentleman snapped off one of those ears that hold on the top link. He had a 2021 3E series tractor. It was still under kind of that bumper to bumper warranty in the two year range. Asked his John Deere dealer if it would be covered and they told him that physical damage is not covered. And so when he mentioned that back to me, that prompted my follow up question of, well, how are you using it when the damage occurred? So for me, this comes down to a use versus abuse kind of scenario. You know, are you just using the tractor like you normally would, or are you pushing it beyond its limits, maybe going against something directly called out in the manual, or potentially, is it a casting defect, something that should be a, you know, a manufacturer's defect that should be covered under warranty? It could be difficult to prove though. Guys, <clears throat> need to have a serious conversation for just a second, but. Most of you don't like or subscribe my videos and I really don't know why. <clears throat> so if you do me a favor this holiday season and um, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, <clears throat> I'd really appreciate it. So I asked him to explain what happened when the damage occurred and he had a brush hog on the back of his tractor and he was backing up and uh, he hit something he shouldn't have. Apparently, maybe going too fast, hard to say, that's a subjective scenario, I suppose, but uh, it must have jammed up, you know, just imagine the snowblower just kind of jamming up into the tractor and maybe twisting a bit. I, I don't really don't know how. So thinking about that, that had to be a really significant force. You know, a, a snowblower here is a, is a rigid hunk of steel overall. You know, the, the brush hogs actually have a little give, those, those top arms, they kind of give a little bit and you can almost kind of wrinkle them up a bit because if you're going um, in ditches kind of up and down there, it, it has some flex. And so to really ram that into something so hard that it overcame that and then still had enough force to break off one of these ears, I don't know, man. I mean, you gotta be out of control, I feel like, to have that happen. Speaking of top links, we just got this cool new Easy Wheel. Haven't even got it installed yet, but this goes right onto your top link, kind of like a, a poor man's hydraulic top link. It's just uh, an easy, handy way to do this. We made, we showed some homemade versions of this before, but it's a Discount Club member. You buy directly from them. Makes it easy to spin that top link around for adjustments or to hook up to an attachment. In fact, we already got feedback from a customer, Mr. Connor, already got his installed on his tractor, says he loves it, so so far so good. Now the Easy Wheel is a Discount Club member. Use code GWT to save 5% off your order. Now you think about a tool that actually John Deere sells, a box blade among everybody else, but you can, you can push backwards with your box blade and kind of push things up and out of the way and wherever you want to go, it's well within the, the limits of the tractor to do so. And so I think that presents a scary situation that fortunately not a lot of folks have gone through, but he was quoted $3,400 to have that top housing replaced, which is just an insane amount of money. And now I think a better alternative to at least investigate first is if you can find somebody who can potentially weld that back together, I would think for 10% of the cost of a $3,400 housing that you could maybe find somebody in your area, even if you had to rent a trailer and everything else, pay a bunch of extra labor just to get it over there to them. I think that's worth investigating that approach over buying a brand new casting. Well, I should back up because there is a potential for this to be aluminum, but I, I think at least that the section that sits on top of the main transaxle is cast. Uh, either way, it takes a, a special welder to be able to have the, the skill set to weld cast iron or aluminum. So really this is a PSA to kind of dive into your tractor manufacturer's warranty and figure out what is covered, what isn't covered. <laughs> and then that, that kind of guides you maybe on how you treat your tractor. Uh, and if you are gonna be backing up or perhaps using uh, certain attachments that could cause more stress in that area, you now know ahead of time and how to maybe take it a little bit easier. And again, this is such a, a random occurrence and I started doing a little looking up to see who else had had this issue and if I could find it on any forum threads. There was a couple on Green Tractor Talk on two series and three series, I think. I don't, maybe a one series as well. Um, a couple of potential items that could cause that kind of an issue. You mentioned the post hole digger. 
which seems like you'd have to do a heck of a lot of a heck of a number to get that to happen and then a stump grinder that's a direct mount uh, with all the sideways force that that like the bomb light 1p24 is putting on there potentially something like that uh, not that either one of those were directly related but really just a couple of potential attachments that could cause this kind of damage. Folks, I want to take just a second to tell you about our channel sponsor, RimGuard. They are a liquid ballast solution. They line up with exactly what we do here on Good Works, which is talking about tractors and tractor safety. We see it as simple as this. If you own a tractor, you need RimGuard. In fact, some tractors include RimGuard as standard out of the factory. Liquid ballast is simply weight, all right? And this weight hides inside your tires. It stays there all the time. It's a safety concern because tractors are almost always too light and too tippy out of the factory. The number one attachment used by every tractor owner is their front end loader. So when you pick up something heavy on the front end, your back end wants to pick up off the ground. RimGuard liquid ballast helps keep your back end planted to the ground. But beyond safety, it's gonna help maintain traction because if those rear tires, those power driving tires are on the ground, you have traction to go where you need to. And you're gonna operate more efficiently because if those rear tires aren't on the ground, you're not gonna pick up as much as you need to or take it where you need to go. RimGuard is all natural. That means it's safe. It is the heaviest per gallon, all natural product on the market. It's not gonna freeze, it's not gonna corrode, and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. To find a dealer, visit RimGuardSolutions.com to make your tractor safer today. Now there are some tractor models out there and I don't really know them off the cuff and you guys can, can leave comments down below too. So if you're, if you're shopping for a tractor, haven't bought one yet, maybe this is a consideration to take into account, but there's certain, what, are we gonna, what do we wanna call this? A, a, maybe a top link bracket or something, but there's certain models out there that have that bolted on. So if you did break it off, you can just simply buy a new small section and bolt it back on. Unlike a lot of the other models that you have to replace a huge chunk of the housing and take a whole bunch of stuff apart. It's a really big endeavor, a totally different story. So I'd be curious to know which of you have maybe something that is bolted onto the top versus a kind of a, a cast and a whole one piece contraption there. Curious what models do and what models don't. So that's gonna do it for us today, folks. Now, if you own a tractor, then you probably need some tractor attachments and we'd love to help you out. Go to goodworkstractors.com. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. 75% of you watching are not subscribed yet. What are you waiting for? It's completely free. Hit that button down below. And we do sell merchandise as well. You can get that right from our website. It's gonna be made to order. We do not profit off this at all. We donate all the profits to charity. Christmas is coming up, so it could be good gift ideas there too. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.